Hey, this is Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Today we're going to talk about Facebook Messenger. I know you've heard about Messenger bots and all these automations. We are not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Facebook Messenger. That'll be covered in other videos. Right now, I want to keep it as simple as possible. So what I'm referring to is Facebook Messenger installed on your website. So you've seen it with the bigger boys like Verizon's, the Chases of the World, and all these other companies that are integrating Messenger into their into their website. So you have that same capability right now if you have a Facebook business page, and it's very easy to do. We're gonna do this probably in less than ten minutes, actually for sure in less than ten minutes. So what I'm referring to is this right here. This is my website. And then you can have a conversation and you can automate it by having those mentioned uh, messenger bots. But again, we're going to keep it simple. We're just talking about the simple messenger um, application on your website. So let's begin. This is, what is this? Oh, this is my Facebook group. We want to go to my business page. And this is my business page. You're going to go over to settings. Again, this is for your business page. It's not going to work for your personal Facebook uh, Messenger. Here are all your options. What you want to, where you want to go is to Messenger platform. Scroll down. This is going to be the trickiest part. You want to whitelist your domain. So th these. Are different uh, variations of my domain but essentially it's the same domain uh, and if you have other other domains go ahead and whitelist them because it will not work unless you whitelist the domain so whatever domain you're trying to install it in this Facebook Messenger as you can see right there that's what you want to put in here and do that before or after I encourage you now that you're here to go ahead and add that before you go over to Messenger but the actual creation of the plugin of the Facebook Messenger is right here. So you're going to go to Setup. You're going to go to Next. And then here is where you can create the welcome. So, hi, how can I help you? So you can change that and put welcome. How can I be of service today? Save. And it has saved. You can put different languages. English is fine for us today. And what's super cool about this is you get to create you get to create a custom color. So for example, my color scheme, my custom color is nine nine oops nine nine one two three four four zeros. And there you go. And that's what you see over here. So that is super cool. You you can put automatically set response time, typically replies instantly. So essentially that's what goes up here. When you click here, you set the expectation of when they can expect a, a response. I want to give a more authentic feel, a more manual interactive feel versus an automated feel. So if I wanted to do just straight automation, I would put typically replies instantly. So when you read that, that means you're talking to a robot. I'm not talking to a person. So I went with minutes and that's that's what we'll do here. Go to next. You put your domain up there. And when you left click, you copy it onto your clipboard. So for this example, we're just going to put finish and be done with it. And again, I have Squarespace. You may have Wix, you may have WordPress, you may have uh, landing pages. For example, I have ClickFunnels as my landing page, so that's something that I would work on putting this code in there as well. But for this example, we're going to stick to Squarespace. Depending on which service provider you're using, 
or you're hosting your website on, they're going to have their own unique um, instructions on how to actually inject the code. What's going to be universal for you is what we just did, the actual creation of the code. But then when you go and install it, that's going to look differently. So again, this is off of Squarespace. It's worked quite well for me, so I, there's no reason for me to get out of this, um, at least not for now. You go to settings. You're going to go to advanced. And then you're going to go to code injection. So I have two codes here. I have my Facebook pixel code and then I have my messenger code. So the first code that you're going to see is my Facebook pixel code, which ends right there. Immediately after is the actual code. I'm not going to I'm not going to inject the code that we just did cuz mine's working fine, but if I was trying to change this, this would not be here. Then I would just put control V, so control paste, and you're done. So I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to replace what I already have. And at this point, you have saved it, and then you would click refresh, and you would have that on your website. So that is a very simplistic way, very easy way to get your messenger um, get your the messenger application on your website and it works on mobile as well specifically here with Squarespace I'm not sure about Wix or other other platforms but with Squarespace it works on mobile as well I have no reason to believe that it won't work there as well but it just presents a different feel and they don't have to go to contact and then input their information it's a more it's another avenue for people to contact you a lot, a lot, a lot of people are on Facebook Messenger and use that as their means of communication. So the fact that you have that there, they're going to be more willing to have a conversation with you without feeling like they're compromising or committing to you by sending you an actual proper form. So that's how you install Facebook Messenger on your website.